Hi, I'm Nick with HayNeedle.com, and we have something very special for you today. I'm sure that you've spent a lot of time perusing the website and flipping through our catalogs, and maybe one of the questions that pops up in your mind is how we put so much personality and style into the sets. So we have a very special guest with us today. Her name is Valerie Drawbaugh. She is the style manager here at HayNeedle.com, and today she's going to walk us through her method and the way she goes about styling a set for us. Valerie, welcome. Hello, Nick. <laughs> how are you? <laughs> I'm good. How about you? <laughs> I'm very well, thank you. Uh, so we're actually sitting in one of your sets. Walk us through. How do you start? Well, in this instance, um, we were coming up with a concept for this month, what we wanted to do, uh, and I wanted to do a black room. It's very relevant right now. But I thought an even bigger challenge would be, let's do a black room and make it feel like spring. Okay? Very cool. And we had this white sofa that I wanted to incorporate. Uh, so we've got black and white, and we want to make it spring, so I pulled in pink. Uh, just that's the natural palette, you right. know, for spring that you think of. So what better flower than peonies? Of course. Of right? Course. Yeah. So we get in loads of pink peonies with the black and the white, and then gold. Brass is a, kind of a hot thing right now. So we've got black, white, and, and the brass. So we've got black, white, gold, and some pink peonies. So you've chosen pink for spring, and you're, and you're saying in a grayscale set like this, this just small amount of pink is going, is going to set the room for you. Yeah, I think so. In this instance, I didn't want to choose um, or use more than one color other than the neutral palette of the black and white because we've got such a mix of textures and frankly styles. We've got kind of a Hollywood Regency or even Victorian kind of feel going on with the sofa, uh, mid-century with the little tulip table, and then um, natural fiber cotton rugs. So we've got um, purposely a mix of textures and styles. We don't need um, to add any more colors in other than that, of that course, one pop yeah. of pink. So you have the pink and then you have the brass that kind of pops. Mm -hmm. Do you think people make a mistake by adding too much color? Oh yeah, I think you definitely can. There's that old rule of threes, that you should only have three colors. That's not necessarily always the case, but um, I think in this instance it would have been. I think that's what's making it feel classic and clean and springy and fresh. Okay. And we talked a little bit. Um, we talked a little bit about texture. Is that kind of the thing that you look for? Like, what do you look for? What's the thing that you look for when you walk into a space that you want to make a feeling? You, you not only want to have a visual characteristic, mm -hmm. but is it is it texture? Are you very into texture? I am absolutely. That's a great question. Actually, I love a mix of textures. I love. I want a little bit of glass, I want a little bit of sheen, I want a little bit of this nubby cotton thing going on. And we've got this leather sofa, a slight sheen on the, the gold um, brass feeling frames and the chains. And yeah. So let's talk about that then. Um, obviously we have this very unique wall piece, is what I could call it. Um, how did you land on, on the brass? How did, you, how did you get the idea to do these silhouettes? and on, on this ball chain, and just walk mm -hmm. us through that process. Well, I knew I wanted the brass touches. Uh, I also knew that I wanted to show our customer how they can, a DIY project, basically. Course, yeah. um, and so we trimmed out the wall with the molding. I felt like it was sort of in keeping with the style of the sofa, for starters. I had seen some um, silhouette necklaces online, cool. and they were hung with ball chain. So I thought, okay, well let's do the silhouette framed art, but instead of using people's faces, let's use, um, and these in this instance are actually my dogs. So I took pictures of, of my dogs. That's awesome. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> Which was another story <laughs> and another time. <laughs> uh, and doing kind of all their favorite little things that they do. And cut them out and made individual frames for each one. The last one uh, just represented by her initial. And then this is actually supposed to be repre uh, representational of where I live. I live in the woods, so it's very so, personal. So what you've done is is taken an idea that you've seen and made it personal. I know that um, a lot of people tend to just replicate or just copy right. what they see right. in popular magazines and things like that. So you're saying that you, you do this, you make it personal, 
Um, now, is this something that you could call seasonal? Is this something that's a temporary thing, or is this something that you're trying to make, uh, I guess, a transitionary piece so that you could take this into summer, or you know, spring to summer to fall? How do you how do you do that? Well, what I love is that we've also put up a couple of shelves, Very cool. right? Mm -hmm. And so in this case. We've, we've put a couple of vases up with the peonies. We can change those out. We can put candles on those Wonderful. as we get later into I the season. I love that you've right? used this balance to put a flower in. Right. I, you know, yeah. Just small touches like that are so neat. Uh, so we've done. We've talked about the wall. We've talked about the brass. We've uh, we've talked about the couch a little bit here. What have you done with the floor? Uh, same thing with. We had some sheepskin throws in the room, and maybe let's say. The customer had, um, it's very popular right now, going back to the sheepskin, maybe they had sheepskin rugs on the floor or a large oriental or traditional type rug. For the summer, let's take those up um, and maybe layer some cotton and inexpensive rugs on the floor. It's kind of what I'm really into right now. I think it's a new look. It's great. Again, it's less expensive. It, I, think it, I think it's a great look. And it also really changes the kind of formality of this sofa. It is. Uh, it it brings it to a different yeah, place. It does right? bring a dynamic into the room. Mm -hmm. The one thing that I thought as I walked into this set is I feel like I'm working with layers, which I never thought I could think about that with furniture. Right. Which yeah. is a fun thing. It's almost a 3D effect on the floor, mm -hmm. and I really, really like that. But we've kept in. If you do have kind of these sheepskin kind of accessories, or. Um, you know, things going on in your home. We've still kept them, but we've thrown it like over the chair here mm -hmm. in the back, over the mid-century chair, and kept the bolster on the sofa. Um, so before we before we go, I know that we've we've uh, we've included this really really nice piece. The one thing that you mentioned before we came on is that you love to do this economically. So I guess we've maybe had a couple pieces that we spent a little bit of money on mm -hmm. to make sure that they, you know, they're kind of the centerpiece of the room. But we've done this on a DIY scale, so talk to us about that. How do you bring those things together to make them look so professionally done? I do want to talk about one more thing. I'm glad you brought oh. that up because this coffee pot. I seriously <laughs> love this coffee pot. I love pot. it. I want, to, I want to take it. Yeah, and <laughs> our other stylist here, Chris Marsh, went out shopping for me and sent me pictures as she was going along and she had found this coffee pot. I'm like, oh my gosh, I love this. And so we painted the interior of it white so that the gold really popped. Of course. Yeah. Of course. Then we lined it. We didn't pour the water in that because it will flake your paint off. So right. we put another glass inside of that, which the peonies are sitting in. But I seriously, that's like, you know, $3, $5. I love that. And it looks so, so amazing. It's so cool, right? It's so awesome. <laughs> it is yeah, so awesome. Yeah, and then uh, gold, it's called Rub and Buff that we used on the frames. Okay. And the, the shelves are just from a local hardware store, spray painted again. So. You know, we're talking probably, and the frames were from home, and the paper from a craft store. So we're wow. talking, you know, maybe fifty dollars with all the accessories. So, pretty great. Well, there you have it. How do you bring personality and style on a budget into a room? Valerie, thank you so much for sharing your talents with us. Thanks, uh, we always love to see what you come up come up with and the new sets and and photos. Uh, for all of us here at Hayneedle.com, thanks for joining us.